In this video, I will show you how to get high quality math graphs using free and open source software only. If you are compiling a book, writing a research paper, or creating an educational resource for teaching or for selling in the form of a PDF, you need high quality graphical images. And we are talking about vector images, SVG file formats and EPS file format. And in this video, we will see how we can use these SVG and EPS images without buying a ridiculously expensive software such as Adobe InDesign or CorelDRAW. First, I will show you the process and then I will show you a complete example. So make sure that you watch full video. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about online educational technology tools available for teachers and students and also some of the subjects which I teach. So if you are interested in any of these topics, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Now there are two types of images. One are JPEG or PNG files and other are vector images which are SVG or EPS files. And I have explained this in another video, which I will put uh, link in the description of this video. But the main difference is that when you use vector images, you can zoom into the graph or image without distorting the image. Some of you might think that when you put a PNG in a PDF and you create that PDF, you will get this high resolution, but actually this is not the case. And I have also explained this in another video. The best way to create a high resolution document is to put EPS images when you are creating a PDF file. And today we are talking about PDF files because books can be written in Word as well. Research paper can also be written in Word, but you know the issues with Word and how difficult it is to handle images in Microsoft Word. So therefore, we are not talking about any Word document. We want to create a PDF file with graphical images and with high resolution. And this process consists of two steps. The first is how to get the EPS file and then the second is how to prepare a PDF by using that EPS file. Now, if you are printing your graphs in a scientific software such as MATLAB or Scilab, Scilab is a free alternative to MATLAB. Again, MATLAB is ridiculously expensive. No point mentioning this kind of software. And Scilab, on the other hand, is an open source free software which is used for scientific plotting. So if you are plotting in Scilab, you will get EPS directly from the Scilab. So let me show you. I have created this graph in Scilab and you might want to watch the video in which I have shown you how I created this graph because this graph has some very special features such as in legends, we have equations instead of simple sentences and I have changed the default font size and line style of Scilab as well. So I will put a card here and you can watch that video. But if I click on file and export and then in the file types, I have this EPS option. So I can straight away save this graph in the form of a EPS file and then I can use it in a LaTeX document to prepare the PDF. And these two applications give you SVG files, which is a vector format. And then you can download another free software called Inkscape and you can open this SVG and save that as EPS because there are not many software which can open EPS files. So either you pay every month to these guys or you learn little bit about LaTeX and Inkscape. To getting a graph in GeoGebra or Desmos and converting it to EPS is simply a save as process. There is nothing to learn. So don't worry about this. And I'm going to show you how to create a graph in GeoGebra and Desmos and how to convert this into EPS file. And once you get this EPS file, then I will show you how you can use that EPS file by typing few lines of code, which you can copy paste or you can stop my video and you can type into your LaTeX editor. I have many video tutorials about LaTeX, but one video I will put in the card which you can watch in order to install your LaTeX system. And remember one thing, LaTeX is not just free. LaTeX is the best software for creating PDF. No software can compete LaTeX. 
let me save this and I give this a name scilab graph and save and now you have to select the format and I just click confirm and now this is the file you will see this icon for EPS files and now I have opened my Desmos account which is a graphing tool you can type this Desmos and you have to open an account and in order to plot any math function you have to write the function here and the way you write is the same as you write math equations in LaTeX and most web applications use LaTeX style of equation writing. I will be plotting a very simple plot of x square. I have to type x and then hat symbol which is shift 6 and now the cursor has moved to the exponent area where I type 2. So it will show me the graph of x square and now if you want to set the plotting limits you can do so by clicking on this settings icon and then you can set the x and y limits with which you want to plot. So let us set this to any limit minus 10 to plus 10 and set y limit to minus 2 to let's say 20. Once you have set the limits you click on this share icon and there are many ways to share. You can share a link but we are interested in exporting this as an image as a vector image. So when I click export image by default I get this PNG option but if I click on this arrow I have this SVG option as well. So I click on that and now I name it Desmos graph.svg and I save this in this folder in which I am putting all the contents of this video and now it has been saved as .svg file and now I have to open Inkscape and open this SVG file in Inkscape and save as EPS. So this is an extra step for Desmos and GeoGebra application. So after installing Inkscape I open this and I click file open and this is the file Desmos graph. I click on that and I click open. And now this is the SVG file. Now I have to click file and save as and in these file types I have this EPS. I click on that and this is the EPS, the Scilab EPS which we have saved previously and now we are going to save Desmos graph. So I click on save. It will ask me for few more options, advanced options but I don't want to do that. I simply click OK. And now we have got this EPS file saved. Now let us see GeoGebra now. And now I am logged into my GeoGebra account which is another application for graphing. And it has many tools. It is a very advanced application. But we are interested in graphing calculator. I click on that. And it looks similar to Desmos but it has a lot more features. So let us plot the graph of x square. So in this area I type x hat 2 and it shows me the graph of x square now. Now it is important that you set the limits properly to get the good image otherwise whatever you are looking at the screen you will get the same image. So put the graph in the central position, zoom it properly or just like before you can click here and you can click on settings and you can change the settings from here as well. But I am happy with this uh, image now although some grid elements are not very clear but uh, we will see how it looks when we prepare the PDF. And now in order to save this as a vector file I click on these three lines and then download as. And as you can see that there is no direct EPS option available as we had in Scilab which is a scientific plotting software but we can get SVG. So I click on SVG and I give it a name and now just like before I open Inkscape and I open the file GeoGebra graph.svg click open and now we got our file and now I can save as EPS very simple EPS and we have two EPS before and this time we have GeoGebra graph.eps click save it will ask for the option and we ignore those and now the final step is I want to show you how these graphs will look in a simple PDF document. Now this is few lines of LaTeX code which you want to type in order to get uh, a simple PDF 
and in order to insert the image you need only these three lines of code and inside this code we have this file name dot eps i have written desmos graph dot eps and then i can copy this three lines control c and control v two times and i change one to scilab graph and the last one to geogebra graph dot eps so if you cannot type this and you want to get this file from me you can join either channel membership or you can join our mailing list and you can send me a message i will give it to you otherwise you can type these few lines and it will take you just one to two hours to install latex system then you type this thing and then you simply have to select the compiler which is pdf latex and you have to click on this and make sure that these three files are in the same folder in which you save this latex file all latex files have this tex extension and i am putting a card to latex tutorial at this point of the video and once uh, it is complete you will see this green message here it means there is no error if there are errors you will see red message and now in order to see the pdf i click on this second arrow and now my pdf is on the right hand side i have to make a space for that and now this is the pdf and now if i and now let me zoom this pdf to 400% and as you can see that the sharpness of the graphs is still there although i have zoomed this to 400% and in every eps image you will observe this sharpness let me zoom a little bit less so that you could be able to see and as you can see that images are very sharp although their scaling is a little different and you have to tweak this a little bit but you can see the sharpness of the images at this high zoom percentage and this will not distort even if you zoom further so for any book for any research paper or for any important document you need crystal clear graphical images which you can get by using this method it looks a little bit lengthy but once you have installed this software it is just a matter of few minutes so this is it for today i am confident that now you should be able to generate some amazing pdf documents and some crystal clear mathematical graphs by using this approach so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time